Alright guys, so today we're going to practice how to multiply decimals. Before I show you the shortcut, I want to show you um, a strategy that's going to lead you up to that, okay? So right here we have a problem. We have 2 tenths times 5 tenths. And when we're multiplying decimals, one strategy we can use is instead of using the decimals, we can actually rewrite them as fractions. So let's rewrite 2 tenths as a fraction. So 2 tenths is the same as 2 tenths like that and then five tenths is the same as five tenths now hopefully you guys see right now why I made you guys all read decimals the proper way we don't say 0 0.2 in my class we say two tenths and this is why now that you know how to read them properly you can write them as a fraction really easily and then we just multiply straight across two times five gives us ten and then ten times ten gives us 100. So our final product is 10 hundredths, which you can write as 0 0.10. Now that can also be written as 1 tenth or just 10 hundredths, okay? So let's move on to another problem. Over here, we have uh, 9 tenths times 7 tenths. So we're going to go through the same strategy. We're going to start with rewriting everything as a fraction. Fractions are our friends. So we have 9 tenths times 7 tenths. And we get, multiply straight across, you get 63 for the numerator, and then 100 again for the denominator. And so we would read this as 63 hundredths. So you could write it as a fraction like that, or you can write it as a decimal like so. 63 hundredths, okay? So let's try another problem. If you want to try this next one on your own, you can. You can pause the video right here and go ahead and try it and then start the video up once you have an answer or if you decide to give up. So here we have 4 tenths times and now notice this is not 3 tenths, this is 3 hundredths. So I'm going to write 4 tenths and we're going to be multiplying it by 3 and now this is hundredths, like so. And so we get the numerator, we get 4 times 3, which gives us 12. And then 10 times 100, which gives us 1,000. So to read this properly, we say 12 thousandths. And to write that, it's going to be 0 0.01 now a lot of you guys, if you tried to do this at home, you might have written something that looks like this, 0 0.12. If you wrote something like that, I want you to stop and check and reread that. This right here says 12 hundredths, and that's not the same as 12 thousandths. 12 hundredths is 10 times larger than 12 thousandths, so this cannot be right, okay? So let's try the next one. This one is similar to the previous problem. This is 2 tenths. So we have 2 tenths. And we're multiplying it by 6 hundredths. So 6 over 100. I hope you guys really see why it was so important that I made you guys read these decimals the proper way. All right, so we have 2 times 6, which gives us 12. And then 10 times 100, which gives us 1,000. And I had no idea this was going to be the same as the last answer. So it's 12 thousandths, which is what we got over here, too. That was unplanned. All right, next problem. Okay, this is getting a little bit more tricky. Notice on the left, we have just 120. And on the right, we have 2 thousandths. Don't get tricked by this problem, okay? This is just 120. And we're going to multiply it by 2 thousandths okay so some of you like to put a 1 beneath the 120 you don't have to do that but some of you do if you multiply the numerators you get 240 and then the denominator you get 1000 so when you read this properly we would read this as 240 thousandths and the way to write that as a decimal is 0 
240,000. Okay, so not too bad. Now this final problem right here, this problem I'm not going to do for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this on formative and you can go ahead and attempt this problem um, on formative, okay? You'll see it posted on Google Classroom. The link will be posted there. I might post it in the comment section of this video so you can attempt it right there, okay? Um, I'll give you a hint. This right here, we would read this as one and two tenths, like this. And this is read as 11 hundredths, okay? So this is what your setup will look like. Now, this is where a lot of you might get stuck. I will give you a hint. We like fractions. This right here is a mixed number. Can you think of a way to rename this guy into a fraction? So if you can rename him into a fraction, then we get fractions, and fractions are our friends. All right, guys, good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.